Welcome to the webinar, Magical for Sales, how Freshworks increased sales by 10% using Magical. I'll start by sharing a few slides on how Freshworks uses Magical and then give you a live demo on how you can get this set up for you and your team as well. If you do have questions, please leave them in the chat and I'll respond at the end. So as a sales professional, what do you want? You really want more qualified leads, you want more time with customers, and you want to make more money. But what gets in your way? Manual tasks. So workers spend 30% of their time on manual repetitive tasks. That's 624 hours of productivity lost per worker per year. We spoke to Lee, who's an enterprise account executive at Freshworks, about his team's experience. He explained to us the biggest culprits was that he was spending way too much time sending personal messages to his prospects on LinkedIn, responding to their questions. He was also spending a lot of time updating his Salesforce CRM and doing a bunch of research on his prospects. Repetitive tasks are the things that the computers were made to take care of for me. He knew there was a better way and so he started using Magical. So Lee and his team found that he could quickly save time by saving his repetitive text that he would send to customers shortcuts in Magical. They could also customize these messages for their recipients with personal information like first name, location, company, automatically all using variables in Magical. He also saw that he could update his Salesforce CRM with his prospect's personal information. Just by using the slash slash command, he could import different contacts into his database and keep his CRM updated automatically. He could also do prospecting a lot easier. While he would be navigating LinkedIn for new prospects, he could automatically move this information into sheets just using two clicks. Lee found that he was spending way less time doing a lot of those manual tasks and spending more time on the stuff that was actually making him successful. Now, the folks at Freshworks, they have seven sales professionals collaborating on Magical. They're saving 30 minutes per day, and they have a 10% increase in productivity. So now I'll go into the live demo. Let's go to a new tab, Bullet Magical. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to getmagical.com. If you haven't already, click this Add to Chrome button. You'll be taken to our Chrome web store where you can add the Chrome extension and go through the authentication process. Once you've verified your email, the first thing you'll want to do is pin the Magical app. So go up to the puzzle icon and go down to Magical and click the pin icon. This just means that you can Magical with you as you navigate to different pages. So right now I'm on the Magical workspace here. I can see my shortcuts, which are basically my messaging templates, and then my transfers. So transfers are when you're trying to move any information from a source to a destination. So in that previous example, Lee was moving contacts from LinkedIn into his CRM. So those will be saved as your transfers, and I'll show you how to do both of these things. And then on the side panel here, you can see all of your teams. So I'm in the Magical Company workspace, and we have a few different teams in here where you can save different shortcuts related to each team, and also save transfers there as well. So let's say I'm in sales and I want to do a bunch of maybe outreach on LinkedIn. The first thing I'll do is create a shortcut and give that shortcut a trigger. This will be how you recall this message in the future. So I'll give mine LinkedIn outreach. And so I can basically type this and this text below will expand. So I'll start to create my message. So hi, first name. How are things at, you know, company name. And you guys will create something much more, you know, creative and engaging than this. But start to build your message using this placeholder text below. And this is how Magical will actually start to fill that information for you when you use this shortcut. I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to go to LinkedIn and look for someone. Let's go to Simran. She's a recruiter on our team. Let's say I want to send her a message. I'll open up a message and I'll click. I could either type that dash, you know, LinkedIn to trigger my shortcut, but let's say I've forgotten what that trigger is. All you have to do is click slash slash 
And then this will pull up a list of your shortcuts that you've saved. You can also type and start to search that drop down. So here's my shortcut. I'm going to pull this in. And Magical is recognizing that there's already variables on this page that I can fill this message with. I'm going to click out of that just so you can see. So here's my template. And then when I click in here, I can see that Simran's first name is being recognized in her company name, Magical. So if I click that, Magical will fill that template out for me. So this not only works in LinkedIn, but let's say I was maybe trying to send her an email. Let's open up an email. I can hit slash slash, and I can see that same shortcut here and do the same thing. But let's say maybe I have a bunch of these profiles open, or I want to open a bunch of these profiles. So let's open up a few of these. All that information is also going to be available when I use this shortcut. So I'm going to use that LinkedIn outreach, and then I can see Rosie, Matthew, Simran, Raph. So Magical is asking me, you know, who do you want to send this message to? We're recognizing that those variables exist. So this will really help you speed up messaging when you're typing the same thing over and over again, and Magical will help you fill in that placeholder text for you. So let's say I'm on a team of, team of sales folks, and we think this message has been converting really well, and I want to share it. So I'll go to my workspace, and I can click this share button and share this shortcut with my sales team. So this will now appear in the sales team library and anyone who has joined this team will have access to this shortcut. So when they go to send a message on LinkedIn, all they'll have to do is click that slash slash. And as you can see here, my personal shortcuts appear, but also any teams that I'm a part of also appear here as well. So that's our messaging use case. The other use case that we've seen a lot of sales folks do, I'll use this, I'll do this example on Crunchbase. Lots of folks in sales oftentimes use Crunchbase to research different companies. So let's go here and this is the magical Crunchbase, but let's open up a few more. So these are some of the trending companies. I'm going to open these up. And I want to pull a bunch of this information into a Google Sheet. So I'm going to open up the magical panel, go to the transfers tab. You're going to see this transfer to new sheet button. I'm going to click that and it's going to ask me if I want to transfer just the magical profile or all of these profiles that I have open. So I want to get all of those. It transfers all of these profiles that I have open into Google Sheets with one click. And let's say I may be navigating to um, a new profile. I can always add people to this same Google Sheet just by clicking this button, and then it'll transfer that to, to this Google Sheet automatically for me. This will also save in Magical. So if I go back to my Magical workspace and I look at the transfers that I just did, I can see that, let's find it. This was Crunchbase to Google Sheets here. I can click the ellipsis and click manage and then give this a name. So maybe I wanna just say Crunchbase company profiles, you know, to Google Sheets. So this makes sense to my team. Click on my sales team and then this will be shared in the sales workspace. So anyone on my team can now jump into that spreadsheet and start sourcing companies the same way. The last use case I wanted to share was around how to update your CRM, like a Salesforce, with information from your open tab. So let's say I have Simran's profile here. I want to, you know, add her as a new contact in my CRM. I'm going to open up a new contact. And when I click into this, Magical is going to realize that this is a first name. I also want to map her last name and then her title. If the drop down doesn't appear, you can always hit slash slash and let's find her title here. So the first time you sort of map a form like this, you'll do it field by field. And then the next time you go into that same field, it's going to ask you actually if you just want to transfer everything. So let's say I had a few of these profiles open again. I can go to add a new contact. 
And then it's going to ask me, okay, you want to fill out all that information for Raf. It's going to fill out his first name, last name, and his title automatically with just one click. So I can save a lot of time instead of copying and pasting that information. It'll just go with one click. Similar to how I shared that transfer, I can also share that transfer with my team as well. So that in that case, we were transferring folks to Salesforce, which is this one. And I just want to give this a name. So this would be LinkedIn to Salesforce. And I can go ahead and share that with my sales team. So those are the three use cases, messaging, which will be in shortcuts, and then moving data from source and destinations will be under transfers. We rolled out Teams just yesterday. So if you don't see this Teams here, make sure you've signed up to Magical using your company domain, and you'll see a create workspace button here. After you've created a workspace, you'll be able to create different Teams and then invite, invite folks to, to your team by using this copy link, or you can send people individual messages by typing in their email address here.